Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and what we're going to do is uh, break down uh, uh, the financials on a building that sold in the month of April in Ottawa. And just before we do, if you enjoy getting these videos, then click on the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, and they'll be pushed out to you every 30 days. So what we're gonna look at this month is a three unit building that sold in the east end of Ottawa. Now, it was inside the green belt, but it was <clears throat> considered, you know, east of, of downtown. So we had this triplex listed for a million two five zero. It sold for full price a million two five zero, and it had a scheduled rental income. And I'll round off some of these numbers, by the way. Uh, scheduled rental income of sixty four thousand dollars. When we deduct 3% for vacancy and bad debt, it gives us an ERI or an effective rental income of 62,400. And it had operating expenses of $12,000. So when we add in um, excuse me, maintenance and management um, of 10%. Uh, this is our total operating expenses of a little over $18,000, which leaves us with an NOI of $44,000. And we'll move to the uh, next screen and we'll kind of interpret what that is. So we now know what the NOI is, so we can calculate a cap rate of 3.5%, which kind of is, is this property gonna make money or not? Maybe not, 3.5 is a little on the low side to make money with a 35% down payment, okay? <clears throat> so the operating expense ratio, how much of your uh, revenue goes to pay your expenses is, um, 29%, that's really quite low. This is a very efficient building. Now it sold for 20 times the gross, 28 times the net, quite high, very high. Again, indicative, is this gonna make money or not? So if we go with a, a down payment of 35% on the property, $437,000 and our monthly mortgage payments, uh, if we calculate uh, them to be at 3% and that would have happened in April at the beginning of April, but now that number will change to 4%. So anyhow, at 3%, we can see that our annual debt service, that's our, our total mortgage payments for the year, would be a little over $51,000. So we know what our um, operating income was, deduct the ADS, and it gives us a negative cash flow of over $7,000. So this individual who purchased the property, one would hope that they had a higher than 35% down payment. Otherwise, they're getting a negative ROI of 1.6% on their investment of $437,000. If you have any questions, Patrick Walchuk.